apologize if I'm too loud. But I can't control this thing. And I can't control the Holy Ghost in me. <laughs> Let's go 
going to be all right. It's going to be all right. And that's what they thought. Because as they started selling, Paul said, you better not do this. It's not going to end up good. But they're like, they start selling everything. It seemed like it's going to be all right. But then all of a sudden, the clouds got dark. All of a sudden, the wind starts to blow. And that ship was just being tossed to and fro. The man of God knew what he was talking about. We have had a man of God ministering to us in this revival. And he knows what the Holy Ghost has been telling him Amen. To, to speak to us, to teach us. Amen. If we do not take heed, then we're going to be caught up in that storm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Some of us are there tonight. We're there. We're in that storm. And it's dark all around us. But listen, we were being exceedingly tossed with the tempest. The next day they lighted the ship. And the third day we cast out with our own hands the tacklings and the, of the ship. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us. Now listen what happened. All hope. All hope. We as human beings have not been created to live without hope. Amen. We will die without hope. Even, you know, there's many today that are taking their own lives because you cannot live without hope. Amen. You've got to have hope. All hope that we should be saved was taken away. Amen. At first it looks good. At first it tastes good. At first it feels good. Hallelujah. At first it seems like everything's going to be alright. The wife seems to be okay with it. The children, they're doing alright. And, and they're doing
I'm telling you tonight, your hope is not gone. You still have hope. You're still breathing. You're still looking. You're still hearing. Your yes. hope is not lost. It is not yes. gone. Yes. Amen. But your hope tonight is reaching out to you, saying, why won't you just come? Well, I'm scared because of this or that. Well, I'll tell you, what do you have to lose? Amen. Amen. Hey, come on. So many I go to, they're desperate. They say they have nothing left, but yet they're scared to death to bow their knees before Jesus. Come Let on. him come into their heart. Let him be the, the hope oh in them. Amen. Amen. But they're scared to do it. And I say, what do you have to lose? Amen. But after Paul said, you should have hearken to me and not have loosed from Crete and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I exhort you to be a good cheer. Yes, you Lord. see, we're in the storm. The clouds are black. It's dark. All the water's raging all around us. And we don't see no hope. But yet a man of God or a woman of God will stand up and say, be a good cheer. Yes. out of 